Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me on another How I Do It video. In this video, I'm working with junk mail envelopes and I'll show you how to alter it into a flip pocket uh, journal insert. Um, it's an easy process. I use just one of these junk mail envelopes and a sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Um, and I'm continuing to work in the journal that I made in the last video. This journal, I went ahead and inked everything around and I cut the uh, background papers to fit. And I'm using this map that I got from 1966 from National Geographic. And I cut all the pieces to fit um, and then some more inside too. And it just, it worked perfectly. So I went with this piece of 12 by 12 paper. So I guess I'm gonna do a travel theme journal on this one. So this pocket um, insert flip thing will go here in this um, back flip. So the main flip's here for the main journal. And then this will be where all the ephemera and bits and pieces will go. So this will fit right under here, just like this. And it'll flip out and this will be a pocket. And I have one, I have um, did one in this journal using the pages from Artie Mays. So there's a pocket here that I made and then it flips that way and there'll probably be more po pockets and tuck spots that I'll add there later. But today I'm just going to show you how to alter this. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Like I said, you just need the one envelope and a sheet of 12 by 12. You could use multiple sheets of paper if you'd like, but this works. I like the way this cohesiveness looks from the one sheet. Um, so I took the junk mail and it's coffee stains um, and I cut it down to size that I wanted in the journal. Um, it's an eight and a quarter um, tall and this the envelope flip will go inside the journal like that. So I have that and then I took another junk mail envelope that and matched it up. And I took the plastic off of it to make a template. I put uh, secured or reinforced the edge with washi tape. So I'm going to use this um, to trace this window on the um, 12 by 12 sheet and then glue that piece onto this with the plastic on there. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use this one first to get the length because my template is a little shorter. I'm only going to use it for the window. So I'm just going to take it and line it up. I'm going to leave the little edge here. because I'm going to cut that to fit around here because I like that look. If you look on this one, I left it here because I like that curved look of the pocket. So I'm going to leave a little edge there to cut it to fit. And I'm going to cut it down for the width here. Or the length, I'm sorry. For that half. Okay, and then to keep, to use the whole 12 by 12 sheet, we're going to cut this part off first so it stays whole. To use it on the other side of the journal, I just got to find my mark now. I don't know where my pencil mark went. Okay. Probably eight and a quarter, right? Like I said. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you'll save that piece you just cut off for the opposite side of the envelope. Okay. So with these pieces, I'm going to take my template and put this piece here so I can cut out the circle. So I'm just going to line it up again. I'm lining it up 
just off the edge here because of how I'm going to put it on the envelope. You want to leave that little space um, on the edge, um, you know, because it bends. Your, your paper can't go that far. I'm just going to line it up right to it. And just make sure that it's there on the top together. And then you'll just trace. see okay and then you can use your craft knife and cut an X to get off the inside but I'm just gonna like that make an X and then just cut around the line which I can't hardly see So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that all cut out and I measured it, got it all lined up. I had to trim just a little bit off the side and bottom, but I got it to fit and then this side is all um, cut to fit and it's got that little lip which I'll trim off. Um, but now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to ink it all up now and just be careful in the center because, you know, it'll, it could rip. A spring journal but the greens definitely like that all right before we glue those on I still have to ink the envelope also the edges but I'm gonna reinforce the um, the bends of the paper also so I'm gonna grab the um, sports medicine tape but instead of using the whole piece I'm actually gonna cut it so um, you know, it's a little too wide. It'll come over here on the paper, so um, or on the plastic. So I'm just gonna cut it in half. And it's actually kind of fun because you just snip it here and then rip it. <laughs> so it's just fun. It's the little things, right? but it's so much fun. Maybe it's the sound it makes, but it's fun. And then now I'm going to ink everything up and I'll be right back. Okay. So everything inked up and reinforced and um, folded into place how, I'm gonna, how it's going to go into the journal. And then I also wanted to reinforce this edge here. Um, you know, it ripped a little, but it's going to help because that's going to be the pocket so that'll just help um, reinforce that edge Let's see if you look in this one on the inside I've got it it's stitched also but it's on the inside so it just it helps keep everything secure and just use some washi tape on this one And I just kind of work it around the uh, the bend there. Okay. All right. All right. So now we're gonna glue the top two pieces on. And try not to push down too hard right here because the glue will ooze out onto the plastic right there. All right, I just want to line it up. If that dries, I'll cut it along here to create that envelope effect for the pocket on this side. And then you just Flip it over and do the same thing for your other two sheets. 
So this is the other side of the 12 by 12 it was up here and then this sheet was right here. So I use those two pieces for the front and then so this piece will go here or maybe I'll use that. I don't know if I want to cut off. If I put that there I'll cut the guy's head off so I don't know if I'll do that. He'll probably go here maybe and then I'll put this piece here. Yeah, maybe I'll do it like that. I'll figure it out, but you do that again. Use your template again, and then just make sure that you're using it on the right side. Um, because here it's different than this way. So you line up the envelope again like this, this time. So you, you'll cut it on the right side of the paper to put it down. And I'll do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that all cut it to size, and then I went ahead and stitched here, so just to add more reinforcement. And then these pieces I cut down and went ahead and inked. We'll just glue these down. Just making sure that it's not overlapping on the edges here. So when you bend this, it doesn't interfere with any of that. Um, so that's all square. And then this piece we're going to put here. And it works out really well because when you close it, you can see him through the, the window. And then I'm also, on, on this side, it's going to be the back of that pocket. So I'm going to leave it a little bit further away from the edge to give it, so it's not lined up completely with this piece here. And then also, I'll just ink this a little bit better so I don't see any of that white tape. And then also, which I've done many times, we're just going to glue here, here, and here. Not the whole piece. Because <laughs> then it wouldn't be a pocket. So, just keep that in mind. You just glue, glue three sides for a pocket, not the whole piece. Okay. Just square that off. You leave that there or you can make it flush with this too you can cut it down to fit but I like the look of that so I'm gonna keep it that way okay, I'll just let that dry and then I'll stitch around the whole pocket and then the window here get the glue off I've also found out if you don't like this wind crinkly window here, you can always take that off and just put a piece of um, is that like acetate plastic there. I've done that before also. If you don't like that crinkly plastic. Alright, right, let me go stitch it together. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all stitched around here, the window. All around, and I've got my pocket here. The little, the gentleman through the window, and then the back side. And then later on, you know, I can add a pocket, some other details or deep uh, effects to this. But we're gonna put it in the journal here. So the flap, before we do that. I'll kind of cut these down a little bit from the edge in. You'll cut it just in case. Um, you don't want it to show. You don't want the envelope to show under these papers. So I'm just going to cut it down. So we're going to glue it down into the journal like this. And just up to the score line here on the journal. So you want the to be able to close. So we'll add glue. Get it off of my finger. Okay. 
Make sure this right way up, of course. Let's get it down just a tad. A little altered junk journal junk mail insert for your junk journal 